the mountain I could not climb. In desperation, I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. And through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my Jen Mayer with this week's small group extra or midweek moment, depending on when you're watching it. The question that I thought we might want to consider today is one that I pose to our small groups. What if the world was ex ending in exactly a year from today? What would you do in that time? So being me, I would actually probably start by making a plan and then sitting on it for three days and thinking about it and maybe revising it because it seems like something you should think through, not waste. And part of that is a desire to not squander time or opportunities, which I don't always think about in just everyday life because with an endless supply of tomorrows or a seemingly endless supply of tomorrows, there's plenty of things I'm willing to put off. 
so that I could do things that I might not. I might not think were as valuable if there was a limit to time. And the thing that I'd like to point out about, out about the question is it's not a question of what if my life was ending in a year from today. It's a question of what if the world as we know it were to end second coming of Christ, judgment, eternal life after that. So one of the things that occurs to me is I'd probably be very concerned about friends and family and whether or not they were aware of the possibility of eternal life and whether they saw it as something as value. And I think I'd probably want to encourage them to think about it um, with some urgency that I don't always feel um, in just day-to-day -day life. I think the second thing is I think about how I spend my time. I know how to squander a lot of time playing games on my iPad. That might not be the best use of limited, limited use of time. Not that it's a terrible thing to do, but sometimes it distracts me from other things that actually bring me far more joy. And I just don't always take the time to do them. So I probably would want to take some time to do those things that bring me joy because it would help me hunger for and want eternal life. Um, surprisingly, I don't think I would make a bucket list of places I wanted to see and things I wanted to do because I'm not expecting, or at least I'm not hoping that my life would end with my death. It would be that it would be changed. And so the possibility of being awed at the Grand Canyon or taking trips or like, I don't think that that's actually off the future possibility list. And so I don't feel this urgent need to go do them. Um, I do think that I would feel some need to think about m my life's purpose, what God has put me on this earth to do and to think about how am I doing on that? Is there, is there work that he's given me that's still left to do that would make a difference to someone else and to make sure that I didn't lose the opportunity for what, for how he could work through me. Um, similar to that, I think I would want to be much more disciplined in my prayer, in part to understand and reflect on my life's purpose, but also to think about deepening the desire in my soul to want to be with God. And then last, I think that there are probably some broken relationships in my life that I'd want to think about and see whether or not I didn't have those hanging over my head for eternity because nobody wants that. So that's my quick random ramblings on what it might be like if uh, the world were to end as the world as we know it were to end a year from today. How about you? What are some of the things that you would wanna do in that time?